What's up, everybody? Hopefully everybody's doing good. I'm, I'm glad you guys are back. So, uh, today I'm going to be doing a, an unboxing. It's been a while since I've done one. But yeah, I'm actually going to be doing an unboxing today. So, um, as you guys know, I usually buy all my own products when I do my, my reviews, things like that. So, it's kind of tough. But, uh, my friend David was actually kind enough to let me do a review on his new mouse. So, as you guys know, I have been using the... Razer Basculus V2 for uh, a while, or if you didn't know, that's what I'm using now, but um, they actually just released the V3, so I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and going through all some of the changes and new features, not really a full-fledged uh, unboxing, just a quick one, but uh, yeah, let's waste no time, let's get right to it. Alright, so... We're going to go ahead and start this quick unboxing. So, still sealed. We're going to go ahead and peel this off. Get this sticker off of here. So, let's, let's go ahead and do a quick uh, look at the back real fast. So, some of the, the noticeable changes is the Razer Opto Mechanical uh, Mouse Switch is Gen 2. Um, it does have some more RGB zones. So, um, as you can see, it has the ones that are kind of on the bottom. Uh, so... It does have the RGB on the bottom. It does have a button for switching profiles, which mine does too. Um, one thing that that you do that you can notice is um, is let's see is it doesn't actually have the little scroll wheel right here, and I will talk about that later whenever I'm uh, doing my review. So it does have uh, eleven programmable buttons, or what they call ten plus one. Um, the thumb rest, which of course everybody is used to that whenever it comes to this. Uh, it does have a 26,000 DPI sensor. Um, I'll actually probably put a list up here whenever it comes to all the, the main key differences between the two. Uh, and it also does have, which I'm actually really excited about, is the um, new hyper scroll tilt wheel, uh, or it's like a smart AI tilt, tilt wheel. So this actually uh is is a decent upgrade from the v2 so let's go ahead and get this open so box to the side got some instructions some instructions and so here is the uh packaging so we got the mouse coming out here and then of course the cabling so, don't need that. I'm going to be boxing this up so I can give it back to David later. So, it does come with a, a cable manager, which I really appreciate. Um, remove the little plug in, put that to the side. So, I really, really like Razer's cables. They are actually extremely lightweight, really thin material, so it doesn't get caught on anything. Um, I am using the Razer Bungie, which they pair very well together. So, that's, that's really nice. Oh, go ahead and get this on tangled so go ahead and get first look okay so first impressions are it looks almost identical like oh my gosh it looks almost identical that is ridiculous so i'm so far it, like yeah literally looks identical to the to the naked eye but it does have that rgb on the bottom and it does have uh, the same uh, ceramic feet in the in the places. I, I put extra ones on mine just for extra glide. But uh, yeah, so it doesn't actually have this resistance wheel. And that's actually because this is a smart wheel. It actually recognizes when you're uh, in, this, in the software, recognizes when you start scrolling faster and it'll loosen itself up. So it can actually scroll a lot faster, which I appreciate. It's actually really cool. So it is a... Um, I can't remember what the weight on this mouse is. I'll probably put that in the um, list on, on the, the differences between the two whenever it comes to what the differences are. But one thing that they did change, yeah, yeah, they changed that. So if you look here, so there is actually two different types of uh, buttons right here now. So on the V2, it is actually removable. So you can uh, take that off if you don't want it. This one is not. It is a nicer click though. I like that. It's more, it's a little bit, 
mushier. It's harder to push, but I like the feel of it. But other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. I do have some grip tape on it that, that is made specifically for the uh, Basilisk, which uh, I'm probably going to be getting this, and I'm probably be upgrading to that and getting some more of that grip tape. But... Um, yeah, I mean, overall, first impressions of look and design, I really do like it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing plugged in and uh, kind of give it a little run through, see if I, I like it and kind of my first impressions of using it. But yeah, let's let's get to that part. All right. So uh, as you can see, I am in my uh, Razer Synapse software. So, uh, yeah, you can see my, my two, the two mice right here. So you can clearly see the, the like glowing difference, but as far as like looks, they're freaking identical, but, uh, let's go ahead and jump in here. So this is kind of going to give you a layout of what the mouse has to offer. So, uh, let's see right here. So we're going to read up here. So switch between free spin scrolling and tactile cycling mode. So the scroll mode toggle is this button right here. So. This button is going to be your free spin scrolling and tactile sc uh, cycling mode. So as far as that goes, let's see, switch between free spinning and... Whoa! That is so smooth. So you can actually spin it really fast or you can push that and the, the electronics will take over and it'll make it tactile. Okay, so that's actually not bad. The scroll, the Razer Hyper Scroll Tilt will let you actively free spin scrolling automatically. Speed up scrolling the faster you scroll in more. So you can turn this on and whenever you start scrolling faster, it increases the, the speed, the scroll speed, the faster you scroll. That's actually kind of cool. So if you start scrolling through a menu or something, you can actually scroll faster. Um, and then of course you can change it to free spin. That is so cool. Smart reel. So automatically activate free spin scrolling mode as you quickly flick the scroll wheel and return it to tactile cy cycling when there is no scroll movement. <laughs> that is so smooth. It worked. <laughs> I'm so excited for a mouse. It's, it's goofy. I know, but it's so cool. So you can actually really get it going whenever you start going really fast and then whenever you stop it will actually go back to the um that is so cool i like that a lot you can feel it click too whenever it whenever you scroll it it just it just clicks that's actually really cool all right so enough of that so I've, I've already seen those okay so that's the biggest neat new feature that has come with this is the the smart scroll mode and so that is actually really cool i'm going to be taking advantage of that when i upgrade to this okay so there is the sensitivity clutch so this is more along the lines like a sniper button i always do it to like my grenade or something like that just because it's a little bit more convenient to be able to push this button rather than having to push g on my keyboard so I appreciate that. All right. So there is, oh, wow. So Synapse uh, got a huge update. So there's switch lighting. Ooh, okay. So let's see. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Huh. Oh, whoa. Okay. Chroma Studio. Let's go. Okay. So now we're going to oh, oh. need to move this up here. Move this one out of the way. Now we're going to select them all and save. All right. So now. Oh, wait. Hold on. And now save it. Hopefully the mouse starts lighting up. Will it? Will it? Will it? No. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so now this, yes, uh, I also need the wave to be on this too. There we go. And then save. Okay. So th there's the lighting. So that's actually really cool that the lighting 
um, can actually. All right, cool. So there is the um, lighting on it. So it's actually pretty neat that you can see the uh, the underglow on the mouse, whereas on mine you actually can't. Oh, let me get this over here. So sorry if I'm fumbling around. I'm still kind of new to this. But uh, you can actually see the the difference as far as like the underglow compared to each other. Um, the brightness of the scroll wheels and the Razer logo identical, but this one just has that really cool underglow, which I am really appreciative of. And what's really nice is each one of these zones is actually um, customizable. So it looks like there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. So yeah, there's 11 customizable RGB zones, just like it says. So yeah, you can completely customize any of these to do what you want to, which I really appreciate. Um, and I did notice that they did move the profile button down from the side. Um, but as far as weight goes, they feel almost the same. This one feels a tad heavier because I have those ceramic plates on the bottom of it, but I guarantee they're almost identical in weight. Um, like I said, I should have had that put up already. Um, but overall, it's a really good feel. I really like the the design of the Basilisk uh, line in Razor's mice. Just works out really good. But the the uh, smart scroll is so nice. Such a good needed feature in a mouse. Because most mice, you have to click a button. This one, you can click a button. But it's just so nice to be able to just start scrolling and it goes really fast it doesn't just constantly lag because there's sometimes where i'm in a game and i need to do something specific like scroll a mouse wheel really fast and i can do that but if i want to switch a weapon i can just switch it really quick with the tactile so nice i really appreciate that i'm so glad razor did that but uh as far as the complete differences, there's really not a ton other than the scroll wheel, the smart scroll wheel, the uh, button being moved as far as for your profiles to the bottom, the removal of the tension uh, scroll on the or scroll wheel on, for tension on the bottom of the scroll wheel. Uh, but other than that, and the RGB, that's that's pretty much the only differences. But I'm going to do some gameplay. Put that up now and kind of come back and tell you how I feel about it after. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay. All right, so load into some Destiny. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit with some friends. Then uh, going to be able to give you kind of like my, my feel for it as far as like the um, scroll wheel. See if I do like it during gameplay. See if I might change something about that uh, within Synapse. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see what kind of uh, thoughts I have about it. Cause yeah, like as of right now, B2, my favorite, is something that I thoroughly enjoy. So yeah, I'm gonna see where we're at. But yeah, so let me know in the comments, guys, what mouse you're using, uh, what you prefer, if you're a claw grip, palm grip. If you like to hover let me know what you guys are thinking and what what kind of uh, uh mice you guys like to use because i'm always interested in that kind of stuff and uh always looking for like new recommendations for customers and things like that let's go ahead and uh oh he's actually not on anymore okay cool so i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm going to jump into some gambit because that's probably one of the easiest ways to test out a good mouse see if i like it seeing if everything is working out great But yeah, I mean, it honestly feels the same. It feels weird not having my grip tape on there, but it honestly feels the same um, as far as like the grip, the feel in the hand. Um, I'm going to give my input on the new side button, see if I like it, um, if it's if it's worth the change, because I do like the paddle on there. I do like the length of it. It's a little bit further out like that I like. This one is a little bit shorter, so I do have to kind of fully envelop the mouse with my hand. Okay, so actually, let me do this. Cool. 
go ahead and accept his invite. All right, I'll climb out. My headphone cable's in the way, so let me move this. So yeah, I mean that was that was pretty much my review of the the Razor Basilisk B3. I really do like it. I mean during gameplay, the freaking scroll wheel was amazing. I loved it. Uh, the ability to just do this to switch my weapons, but if I need to uh, scroll fast for something else, I can. But as far as like in game, I noticed that if I scroll a little fast, it'll actually. Uh, quadruple reg register it'll actually switch to my weapons multiple times so might not need to to scroll fast with this but it's it's really helpful whenever it comes to doing that kind of stuff so i really like it does a good job um but yeah i mean as far as a uh, mouse i really love it i really don't have anything bad to say about it that's just me other people of course you have your opinions uh, you may not like it. you may not like the basilisk line I thoroughly love it. It is a great mouse. So if you are looking for a good, uh, not super heavy, but um, good quality wired mouse, this is it for you. It's amazing. Works great. I mean, I can't say not enough good things about it. Uh, I didn't actually have an issue with the, the button for throwing my grenade. I didn't have an issue out of it. But yeah, that is my review of the basilisk v3 if you guys have any questions comments concerns let me know about down below i am open and willing to uh answer any questions in the comments but yeah let me know what you guys want me to review next uh, i'll do my best to see if i can um i did just get a new gimbal so i can actually do some reviews on that so let me know if you guys want me to do something like that but until next time i love y'all stay blessed